been pedicabbing for? How long have I not been pedicabbing for? That's the question you should be asking. You see these buns? They didn't get like that from not pedicabbing, all right? Next question. Hi, right, my name is uh, Trip Splashy. I'm the fastest pedicabber on the West Coast. Soon to be determined whether I am the fastest pedicabber in the United States of America, therefore the world. Trip who? Ha. Huh. I never heard of him. Listen, I'm not really worried about anybody coming over to the East Coast and trying to take my title, alright? I got the whole package. I got the body, I got the diet, I got everything, alright? Nobody's gonna come in my house and take my title. Mitch Reinstein is not my enemy. I'm not here to bash Mitch Reinstein. I'm not here to talk garbage. I'm here to compete with Mitch Reinstein. I was called here to find out who the fastest pedicabber is in the United States of America. Therefore, the entire world. As the most powerful nation in the world, we have the two most powerful pedicabbers, West Coast and East Coast. Obviously, the middle of America doesn't count. I'm here as a challenge. I don't know if he's faster than me. I don't know if he's slower than me. We're gonna find out. But I have respect for the guy. I mean, he's out here, he's out here pedaling just like I am. Just like I am. You guys called me. What kind of a question is that? It's a crazy world out there, you know, and a man's got to do what he can to get by. Plus, I'm a single father. I got to pay the bills and uh, feed this young guy. Gosh, I love him. I've been petty cabin for 13 years now, full time. Before that, I was part time in my uh, juvenile years. Started uh, full time when I was nine. Oh, um, well, my, my motivations are mainly my sponsors and money. Uh, secondary, number one, America. Uh, number three would be God. My sponsors, I gotta mention them, that's all right. Uh, 
Red Bull Thailand, SpaghettiOs, and uh, of course, delicious, refreshing Dasani. It's a fantastic beverage for cooling off while riding a bicycle. You know, I hear a lot of the guys out there talking about you should drink water or Gatorade or whatever that stuff's called, you know. But uh, I've been drinking uh, Bush since I was a young boy, and I don't see a reason to change that. My diet? Well, generally for dinner, I grill a three-pound T-bone on a snow shovel over the fireplace. I got a brick hearth built over the top of it I bake bread on. It's interesting, it's interesting in the business because, you know, you meet a lot of people, obviously a lot of women, and I've got a really complicated love life, but I mean, I'm not here to complain, I'm not here, I'm not here to point fingers at any girls in particular. There's been a lot of broken hearts on this bicycle, there's been a lot of, there's been a lot of real connections. Yeah, when I wake up in the morning, I uh, pray first to God, then to the United States. I do some some JJ's, some jumping jacks. I generally wake up at about six or seven a.m. Three hundred push-ups, two hundred fifty sit-ups or so, and. Uh, Hmm. I generally, uh, I don't know what you call these, but I generally do a hell of a lot of them. And uh, I am also a religious practicer of Tai Chi. I do Tai Chi because it helps me harness the energy from within. Literally all around us there are these energy forces that act upon us. The practice of Tai Chi and my movements helps me to harness that energy and use it to my advantage. I picked that up in uh, East Asia when I was uh, training for pedicab over there. I don't know if you guys know this, pedicab is actually originally called rickshaw and it originated in Southeast Asia. Yeah, that's right. Stay in school, kids.